Welcome to another episode where we're restoring a 46 foot John Pugh motor sailor. So we're going to get straight on to continuing on with last week's episode where we're installing the hatches. This week we're going to do the two forward hatches, cut them out, put the combings in, drill the holes so we can bolt the hatches down. So we're going to get cracking onto that straight away. So let's get to it. We just finished cutting this hatch out. Let's see if it fits. Might just bring a hatch up here and try it on to make sure that this proud piece is here and here and we won't have to lift the hatch up and then bear these edges. So I'll bring a, a hatch up and see what it feels like. So we got it flush in these corners. Nice and flush. Got it flush here. It's a little bit proud here. We can drop that one a little bit. However, a little curve in the hull here. And we've got a piece that's a bit proud here. What we don't want is to have water pulling up. So I may lift this piece to be parallel with the center line here. And then I can grind down and then fair these edges um, to match the curvature of the hull. So when we go to weld this, I'll just yeah, lift this up to be parallel with that, just by using a G clamp. And then we'll weld it in and we're going to drill all the holes. I've got the first hatch welded. It's a much better welder than my other one. However, I chose a low hydrogen welding rod so didn't realize they're actually a lot harder to use. So it did come out all right. We've got some nice welds and a good little bit of uh, porosity in some of them, but um, I'll have to fix that up a bit later.
So now that all the hatches are in and all the combings are welded, uh, we've got to get them ready to be bolted down. So. Now we've got to drill all these holes all the way around. So I'm going to measure the diameter of these holes and then we'll make the holes I'm going to drill slightly bigger because I want to give it a, a generous coating of paint inside those holes. So I'm going to measure that all up now and uh, get cracking onto some drilling. So I'm here what's going to be hopefully my last day this week uh, to finish off these hatches. Um, so I've got this hatch here which is a offshore storm hatch. These are just low profile hatches. They're slightly different as you can see with the brackets on the end. I opted to go this one because uh, this one opens a full 180 degrees and those ones don't. They only open 90. So this because this here is going in the sail locker I wanted to be able to open it all the way, so if I'm having to drag a sail across the deck, um, I'm not having to dodge or go around the hatch that's sticking half open, and that uh, I'm not going to foul or uh, bend any hinges. Um, so this one is slightly different. What I'm going to have to do to install this one is take off these nuts here, uh, which is going to take it completely off of the, the frame there. So we can drill the hole at the uh, back of this frame.
So that's all three hatches put in place. Uh, all the combings are done. So now we just got to chamfer all the holes, put some rubber down and bolt them down. Before painting, you've got to make sure you have a decent chamfer on the inside and outside of the holes and also put a 45 on this edge here just sort of round it off. You can't paint over a surface with a knife sharp edge. Uh, as the paint dries it actually pulls away from this corner and you'll end up having a corrosive corner and that'll just uh, lead to delamination of the paint. So i to blend this corner a little bit, chamfer the holes, put the rubber down and then bolt down these combings. But for now, this can stay in place and uh, that stops a lot of the rain and stuff getting in. We don't get a lot of rain here. But that brings us to the end of this episode. Hopefully everyone enjoyed these hatches going in. And uh, don't know what I'm going to get up to next week. I'll, I'll get, do that on the fly. But uh, stay tuned and let us know what you think. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys.